Want a drink? How do we grapple with multiple sclerosis and alcohol consumption? I'm going to answer that question in this short video, and that's going to start right now. Howdy. Learn about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. And I hope that through these videos, I can help you too. I use easy to understand language to bring you accurate and approachable multiple sclerosis education. So if you're impacted by MS and you want to up your game, make sure to sign up for the channel. And now let's get to the topic at hand, drink and booze. What about booze? Alcohol, liquor, beer. What about uh, drinking alcohol in the setting of multiple sclerosis? This is a commonly asked question in clinic and so I thought I'd spend a few minutes talking to you about it today. To start off, I'll share that I don't think it's bad or wrong to drink alcohol and I don't think that we have to completely abstain from alcohol to be successful managing multiple sclerosis. The key really comes to moderation. And as we talk about moderation, I want us to think about it in a couple different categories. So from a liver health uh, metabolism standpoint, the average gentleman can metabolize two alcoholic beverages in the evening uh, without any untoward effects to his liver. The average woman can metabolize one alcoholic beverage in the evening without risk to their liver. And so that's the first thing I'll start off and share. Now, alcohol in the brain inhibits the cerebellum, the back of the brain that controls balance and coordination. And if you, because of MS, already have problems with balance and coordination, we have to be cognizant of that, that we might temporarily make those problems worse. Also, chronic excessive alcohol use over time can actually cause damage and can cause the cerebellum to atrophy at a faster rate. And so heavy drinking over a long period of time can compound problems of balance. Alcohol also inhibits the frontal lobes, the executive functioning, where you make clear decisions and stuff like that. And when people with MS suffer from cognitive impairments, it's typically associated with executive functioning. And so once again, we have to be aware of the fact that alcohol may make that problem a bit worse. There's one uh, last point that I wanna share, and that has to do with the medicines that you're taking. The average MS patient in the United States is on seven medicines. That's a lot of medicines. And many of those medicines can interact with alcohol and they are metabolized by the liver. And so we do have to be cognizant of which medicines you're taking and how they might interact with alcohol. And that's something worthwhile talking to your provider about. So if we keep these things in mind, I don't want to give a message that alcohol is bad and abstaining is good. But I do want to share that we need to consider drinking alcohol in moderation. So I would love to hear from you. How do you grapple with alcohol? Do you avoid it completely? Do you have at it? Do you find that drinking in moderation or in certain social situations works better or worse for you? Share with me your comments uh, in the section down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. And until my next video, take care.